Welcome to a new vlog and I'm going to start with a question. Why should you care about KiCad and what its most recent version is like? Well, there is a very simple reason for that. If you've been a subscriber of my channel, then you must be interested in open source hardware and software. And if you do, then KiCad is probably the world's best open source PCB design software. I have been using KiCad for the past couple of years and it's been a great journey. And if it's one thing I would ask from you is that if you're a KiCad user and you're getting good use out of the uh, program, please consider donating by going to kiCad.org. This will support the small team behind KiCad to continue releasing new and improved versions of the software. So now back to the subject of the video. I have been using KiCad version 5 in its different releases for a while and I've gotten used to how things are done in KiCad. But just before Christmas, they released version 6, which brings a bunch of improvements. Depending on your workflow, you might experience these improvements directly or maybe not. Hence why I'm not covering the whole list of upgrades and improvements in this video, just stuff that I have noticed while using the new KiCad V6. I'm gonna start with probably the biggest change in KiCad V6, which is the file format. That is definitely an under the hood change and one that not many people would care about, including myself, but there could be great benefits coming up from this change because the new file format should allow for easier handling of KiCad files by plugins and external tools. There is also a minor downside to this. Once you convert a project and save it in the KiCad V6 format, you can't use it with V5 anymore, but I don't see why you would want to go back to V5 once you've started using V6. And if you are using KiCad to design your own PCBs, surely you must also order those PCBs. And for that, I highly recommend PCBWay.com. They have been the official provider of printed circuit boards for the Vlog channel for a couple of years now, and I've been really happy with their services. And it's not only PCBs, they also do 3D printing, laser cutting, CNC, so it's worth checking out their website, pcbway.com. The next change that I immediately noticed while using KiCad V6 for the first few minutes is the new way of handling selection and how actions apply to the selected item. So for example, in KiCad V5, in my opinion at least, this was totally non-user friendly and non-intuitive, and I'm gonna show this on video because clicking a particular component would show its info in the bottom bar, but it did not mean it was selected. So if you wanted to now perform an action like edit the properties by hitting the E shortcut, nothing would happen. The mouse cursor position was selecting the item, so you had to hover the item before performing any action. Totally unusual and unexpected behavior for someone just starting with KiCad, but it was something I got used to over time. Now with V6, this changed to what is considered normal in CAD design software and clicking an item now selects the item and any actions are now performed on that selected item, regardless of the cursor or mouse pointer position. And this is also a bit annoying coming from V5, which did things entirely different, but a welcome change as this is the normal way of doing things and this is what a new user would expect when first using the program. Copy and paste was also something that had a rough history in KiCad because in KiCad V5, for example, the schematic editor does not have a copy function. It has a duplicate function and the PCB editor had a copy function but can only paste in the same window. And if you think about it, this is like being able to copy text but not being able to paste it into a new text editor window. Wouldn't that be frustrating? Yet this is how we lived with KiCad so far, but no more of that, KiCad 6 now has a full copy and paste capability, so you can now copy sections of your schematic to a new window or sections of your board to a new board editor window. This also means that if you were used to hitting C, uh, the shortcut for duplicate in schematic editor, that shortcut is no longer valid, so either start using the copy and paste function with Control C, Control V, or you need to reassign your keyboard shortcuts to continue using the duplicate function, uh, which is what I did. Just because I find it more efficient to uh, hit C for duplicate or D for duplicate, and just uh, accomplishing the copy and paste function at the same time for a single component in the schematic editor. Something that you're also probably going to notice is the general refreshed user interface with the general layout of the menus and windows improving. Menu items have been reorganized to make them easier to find. 
toolbars have been updated and almost all buttons have been redesigned with a more modern look but the best thing is that they're matched with the counterparts from KiCad v5 so there won't be any confusion happening there another great addition to KiCad v6 is the new plugin and content manager in short PCM and this will greatly reduce friction for new users but also for uh, people which are not very technical in computer programming because there were already a bunch of neat color teams for KiCad for example or external plugins to enhance various functionality but using them usually meant installing additional stuff copying and editing files under the hood which some of you may not be comfortable with but some maybe well the PCM aims to solve that by providing easy installing of these plugins directly from their online repositories I have already used this on my instance to install a different theme the Kai Buzzard plugin which allows creating these neat labels and uh, Kai Kit which specializes in automated panelizing of boards note that uh, color teams and the uh, Kai Buzzard plugin needed just a few clicks to install but Kai Kit still needs some external setup but the tool itself lets you know what it needs and guides you through the process so I think anyone uh, should be able to do the task now the 3D viewer is something that I used a lot when designing boards to check how everything fits together, uh, the clearances, and the tool has been improved in V6. It now produces higher quality images, and at least in my case, seems to be faster now at rendering images. So this is very much an appreciated upgrade. Moving to the PCB editor, there is a cool new feature in how layer visibility is handled. So you have this new layer display option, which lets you choose between normal, which is the way things uh, have been so far, dim which is really awesome i like this new functionality it only keeps the active layer in full visibility and the others are dimmed and hide which hides the other layers i think i'll be using mine in dim mode going forward this can be especially helpful with multi-layer boards another improvement that i've been happy to find is the new ability to draw rectangles and this is especially helpful for me when drawing board outlines because so far you had to use the line tool and draw a line all around now I can simply use the rectangle tool which saves me from having to run the line all around the perimeter and this is like such a basic feature that was missing from v5 now these are just a few things that I noticed within a few hours of working on the new KiCad v6 but the list of changes is quite comprehensive and I can't possibly cover those in a single video but I'll just briefly mention a few other useful improvements that I noticed the bus handling is uh, vastly improved in both the user interface and the uh, net manager interface you can now create tracks with rounded corners natively which will be appreciated by all the RF designers and the list can go on with many other examples but what you've seen so far should be more than enough to convince you to make the upgrade from v5 to v6 because you'll enjoy the new features for sure i might even help you switch to KiCad from a different eda suite that was all for today but i would also be happy to hear your thoughts about the, the new KiCad v6 what are the improvements that you like most please let me know in the comments below I know some users have been enjoying these improvements for a long time because they have been using the nightly builds but myself on my production setup I wanted to keep things running smoothly so I only use the stable releases hitting that like button is very much appreciated it only takes you a second to do it and if you'd like to support the channel you can do so on patreon with as little as one dollar per month Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you soon.